This is the checklist. Everything that we talked about, I just want to review real quick for people who maybe were here, came here late. So the first thing we talked about is, is the contract written in English and easy to understand? And also if there is two languages, if the translations make sense. Um, then is the name of the school the same as the one you were told during the interviews and has it been spelled correctly? Is the logo the same? Is your name and passport number on the contract and are they correct and also written in the correct order? Is the salary the same as that promised to you in the interviews and is it written down correctly? Um, also, it should always, kind of a side note, the salary should probably always be stated in the currency of the, that country where you're going to get it. If they write it down in like US dollars, they're not going to pay you in US dollars, unless they pay you in US dollars. But typically, they would not, they pay you in their currency, right? So if they write it down in US dollars, it's kind of ambiguous. It can change like every month. So it's better to have the salary always in the currency of that country than it's always the same, right? Um, just another side note. Um, then are the start and end dates written down correctly? And then disclaimer, please note these dates may not be the same as your arrival and leaving dates to China or to wherever you go, but they must be there nonetheless. Then next point, go through the package details carefully. Is everything with regards to your package, so accommodation, medical insurance, uh, bonuses, etc., written down and the same as previously agreed upon? Are your work hours stipulated correctly and as detailed as possible? So you're working days, Monday to Friday, but some teachers, they also work like um, Wednesday to Sunday with Monday, Tuesday off. That can also be the case. Um, and your work hours, you know, how many teaching hours do you have max? If you exceed that, do you get overtime pay? How much is the overtime pay? Um, and also, ideally, uh, the time of the time of the day you start and when you finish. Mm, are the following details with regards to the contract stated? How to terminate the contract early and the penalties for doing so? How to extend the contract and any benefits for doing so? The offenses which may lead to your dismissal and contract termination. Boom. That's it. <laughs> That's the checklist. And I'm probably going to have this um, later in the comments on Facebook under this live as like a just image um, so you can save that for you so you can have it um, for when you need it when you need to sign a contract but after all of this are there any questions or any comments maybe something I didn't mention or any questions now is the time I'm just going <clears> to <throat> leave this up real quick in case there is a question about one of the points. Please let me know. And then we can just move into the official Q&A section. Just let me know if there's any question about this or if it's all good um, or if you would like to add something. All right. Here we have good person. Thank you so much, Linda. It is a wonderful resource, not only for teachers, but also for anyone who wants to work abroad in any field. That's true. It doesn't apply only to teachers, right? <laughs> Great. Thank you. Fares, thanks, Linda, and much appreciated. Thanks so much. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Listen, I am good. Okay, great. Then I just want to quickly mention before we go into the official Q&A, how to find ITTT online, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, check us out. Also our website, tefelcourse.net. Also my personal Instagram, at Linda Goes East. You can send me a message. I'd be more than happy to have a chat with you on there. And then we're moving into our Q&A section. Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.